method to create this snow shelter a little bit faster. There's maybe a little bit of trade out on insulation, but if you block it correctly, there's not that much trade out. So basically I'm gonna use a snow saw. It's an excellent tool. Indigenous cultures in uh, Alaska and such use variations of this. One of the most valuable tools um, in the Arctic like that. Basically I'm gonna be cutting a T, uh, straight down, capital T and there'll be a sleeping platform here, there'll be a sleeping platform here. I'm going to save those blocks and put them aside because they will be replaced, replaced and create that insulative uh, wall. After I cut the T, uh, I'm going to start carving out and we'll just progress from there. You'll check it out. So we're teaming up on this to create the sleeping platforms. Just cutting blocks and digging in. So one of the advantages of the T method is instead of tunneling in, is that you can get several people in working at the same time. It's a little bit less claustrophobic too. Dig in there. As long as we're creating a conveyor belt, no problem. Moving snow. Make it fast work of it. Let me take a look in there with the camera. Starting to get that dome just right. Nice couple of nice sweeping platforms. So the temperature difference is immediately noticeable once you get inside. Five to ten degrees difference even right now without it even being blocked out. Well, get in there. Getting a nice parabola, a nice dome shape, one of the strongest shapes in nature. Being mindful to smooth down the edging as not to create drips when the condensation happens. You know, at this point, I'm basically done. Just the fine details, just kind of shaving, shaving this down. There's plenty of living space here for clear and two platforms on either side here for two people. Last final details, you can create a little shelving for a candle, uh, you know, for light and heat, you can also punch a hole to ventilation so you don't have a problem with carbon dioxide. Okay, we're just about finished with this snow cave here using the T method. You tell Sonny he digs it, it's a, he gets his approval. So last fine details, smoothing the ceiling, making sure your platform's level. Absolutely crucial is venting. I use my probe and then a ski pole jammed up there. It's kind of ongoing maintenance uh, that you have to do. Make sure you get proper air. Uh, last step to this is um, getting some key blocks here. Oh, yeah. So those blocks that you cut out in the beginning, you're gonna mortar those in place like so. Fill in the cracks. Cool. So, I could 
continue to stack that and close that all up so you just crawl underneath there, get an effective cold well in there. Okay, so we've cut some blocks and we're filling in that space and you can kind of just patch and mortar, just some snow mason, if you will. help with the insulation. These, these blocks will set up nicely. Carved out a little space for a kitchen. You have a little group kitchen. You don't want to kick in, cook inside there because of the carbon monoxide. Yeah, you can actually make it kind of cozy.